Hello students, I hope your preparation for the upcoming CUT exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024 is going top notch and to help you with the preparation we at Agrivision for you are here with the previous year questions that the question which were asked in the previous years that is 2022 and 2023 of your CUET. So we are here to make you aware about the pattern and the process in which the questions are being asked so that you are aware about the important topics that can be asked in the exam and to uh, move your preparation in that way. So here we are with the part four. We have already covered part one, two and three in which we have discussed eight questions per video and I am Divyansh Gupta, your mentor for MSc Food Science and Technology and we uh, will be discussing about the questions of your previous years. Coming straight away to the first question, we have the temperature at which the vapors of oil or fat continue to burn for over five seconds after being ignited is called. So these are very straight away simple questions for the answer for this question is fire point because at that point, at that situation, the oil will catch fire and just be aware about the smoke point, flash point and slipping point. These always can be asked in exam. So the topics which are already asked in exam, they can also be repeated, but the questions and the format in which the question is being asked or the options, they can be a little bit changed. Then the next question is as per the fourth amendment regulation by FSSCI, the limit for calcium and magnesium in packaged drinking water is. So this is from the regulations perspective and uh, you need to be aware about the current changes that are being done by FSSI in particular food item, not all the food items, but the basic ones like your pa packaged drinking water, some carbonated beverages or some frozen food items or uh, thermally processed food items. So in this case, the answer for this question is 75 ppm for calcium and 30 ppm for your magnesium. So be aware about this topic. And this was asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have the green rot in eggs is caused chiefly by a very simple question from your eggs unit and straight away you can also guess the answer that is pseudomonas chlorosis as the name suggests and I told you in the class also this is a very common question used uh, very usually asked in almost all of your food science exam. Pseudomonas fluorescence as the name suggests fluorescence and the green rot which is visible in the eggs is also somewhat similar to your uh, the name which is suggests that is the pseudomonas fluorescence. So your first part is the answer for this question. Then coming to the next question, we have the exposure of food grain to a chemical insecticide with the dose sufficient enough and exposure period long enough to kill the insect pest is known as. So even post sterilization will not be the answer because it is not at all related to irradiation. Asepsis is also not at all related and exhausting is also not at all related to this. So fumigation comes out to be the best answer for this question. And exactly this is uh, one of the application of your fumigation, how it is being done. This question was also asked in CVT 2022. Then coming to the next question, which of the following methods is not used for moisture determination? So we all know Avon method and Dean Stark method and Carl Fisher method are the best methods which are used for moisture determination. But saponification comes out as the odd one out for this question. So this is not used for moisture determination and saponification is used to check the chain length of your fats and oils. So this is the odd one out for this question and the correct answer for this question. Question and this was also asked in CUT 2022. So many of you will be a little bit confused how to do the preparation for the exam. So as uh, I suggest that you join our crash course in that we'll be covering all the important topics that will be asked in the exam and uh, it will help you in your preparation for the exam. Then coming to the next question, the bitter flavoring beer is provided by. So when we were discussing about the fermentation chapter in that we discussed the uh, production of beer and we had a very good discussion on how the different steps and what is the role of particular ingredient in the formation of beer. So for this, hops are usually added for your bitter flavor and the scientific name of hops is humulus lupulus. So this is the right answer for this question. Then coming to the next question, chilling temperature ranges from. So there is always a bit confusion among the students. What is a chilling temperature? What is a frozen temperature? What is a refrigeration temperature? So just be aware about that. Chilling temperature will always be above zero degrees Celsius because below, below zero degrees Celsius, your water will start to freeze. So zero to 15 degrees Celsius straight away is the right answer for this question for your chilling temperature. And this was also asked in CVT 2022. Then coming to the next question, FSSAI has recently reduced the level of trans fatty acids in fats and oils to which level? As I told, we had a very similar question related to your packaged drinking water and regulations are very common topic and from the current affairs also they can be asked. 
in your exam. So from 5% to 2%, they have reduced the levels of your trans fatty acids in fats and oils. So this is a very important question. And even not only from your CUT perspective, from your other entrance exam, which are related to food science for your other universities like GNDU and Lucknow University, then for BHU, these all can be asked in CFT exam also. So these are some common questions from some common principles and uh, even your uh, current uh, current affairs. So this was also asked in CUT 2022. So this was for this part. We discussed eight next questions and stay connected for the part five. If you want a better clarification for any of the questions, you can anyways ask that in the uh, video and uh, you can always comment your doubts uh, in our videos and we'll be very reluctant to answer all your doubts. And if you want a better insight and better explanation for all the questions or uh, any of the topic, you may join our uh, crash course in that we'll be discussing all the important topics that will be uh, that have a high chances of uh, coming in your upcoming CUT exam. And the people who are in the batch, they were uh, they are uh, always very well aware about all the, of the questions which we are discussing in the video. So stay connected for the part five. This was about the part four and all the best for your exam.